A man accused of armed robbery in custody after Clackamas County sent out reverse 911 calls warning people to stay inside at 11 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Police say the man robbed the Lighthouse Deli on 82nd. That's where we find our Valina Jones, who spoke to the business owners in the area. And what did they have to say to you, Valina? You know, Jennifer and Jeff, Lighthouse Pub is back open and running tonight. After some pretty scary moments, I spoke to an employee inside of that pub moments ago who tells me it's back to business as usual. They don't want this to stop them from anything. Now, this comes at the same time I spoke to other businesses around the area who tell me this is the latest of several robberies and break-ins targeting stores in the shopping center. It's obviously disturbing to have anything like that happen in an area you work. Patrick Brand did not expect to see crime scene tape and Clackamas deputies taking over parts of Greenhouse Square Friday. Deputies spent more than an hour hunting for a man they say robbed Lighthouse Pub just a couple doors down from Vapor Lounge where Brand worked. We had subway broken into, jujitsu place actually next door was broken into. So um, it's definitely occurring quite often, and I'm just hoping that we're not next. Deputies say this man, Dustin Lee Henderson, while running away, started shooting. The owner ran outside and yelled at the uh, suspect to stop. The suspect fired a gun at him, uh, or at least fired a gun. Deputies found Henderson just a couple blocks away at his father's house on Beaver Lake Drive. Court records show Henderson has a lengthy criminal history, including assault, harassment, and burglary charges. He was sitting on the porch, not complying with commands, uh, based on the fact that he had been armed, he had shot a gun. Uh, we had we deployed a canine to take him into custody. With the recent crime wave, Brand says the store's focusing on doing everything they can to keep employees safe. We always have two or more people here and making sure that everyone's safe and get into their cars and always just watching each other's back. Now the good news in all of this, um, despite those shots being fired into the air, no one was injured. Henderson was transported to the hospital to receive medical evaluation before being booked inside of a jail tonight. Reporting live in Clackamas, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. All right, Valina, thank you. New